One thing that a lot of people don't think about or notice within Genesis is that God explains how he automated his business. Welcome, blessed investors, to the Anti-Hustle Podcast, where I, Nicole Purvey, am live documenting my journey of growing my revenue to $100,000 per month using spiritual weapons given to me by God. Let's get free. So the show follows a format. The first thing we're going to do is I am going to go over the things that I focused on over the last 24 hours. Then we're going to go over the scripture of the day, right? We're going to go over this spiritual hack that you can use to grow your finances. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through, we're going to talk about the good deed of the day. Every day we are going to do a good deed. Everyone here, I'm challenging you all. We're going to do a good deed. It's going to be a small good deed, but we're all going to do it. So let's hop right into this. One of the things that I'm using to grow my income from 30 grand a month to 50 grand a month is funnels, sales funnels. Okay. So I've been using sales funnels for quite some time um, for my business, for the better than success real estate league to grow our member base, getting new members into our membership. This is something that I needed to do after COVID happened before the way that we used to get new members is before COVID is we would have live events. That was really a funnel. It wasn't a digital funnel, but it was a funnel. We would have live events and then people would join. Um, Once COVID happened, it was really a blessing in disguise for me for a number of reasons, but I needed to figure out an automated way because I can no longer run around like a chicken with my head cut off. I need to figure out an automated way to grow my business. So we started setting up digital funnels. Let me know in the chat if you have digital funnels set up in your business, like sales funnels, online funnels. Let me know if you are curious about them, because I can tell you about them. I can talk about them, tell you all the the trials and tribulations that I have gone through. (laughs) with funnels um, to get to the place where we have some funnels that are actually working. So I'm really, really excited about that. What's up, Diha? You say you're curious. So one of the things, if you want to start like really making money in your business, you have to automate the sales process. So um, I wrote the book, The Anti-Hustle, and it's all about really working smarter and not working harder, using scripture, using God's principles to work smarter. The Bible tells us the very first story in the Bible is Genesis and tells you, tells us this whole creation story, right? One thing that a lot of people don't think about or notice within Genesis is that God explains how he automated his business. God is a creator. He created creators, which is man. And he automated his business by creating us and then placing the seed to make more of us inside of us. So that he's not doing this every single day, every moment of the day, creating. He automated it within us. Okay. So for those of you who have businesses or you're thinking about having businesses where it involves you making sales, going out, making sales, making posts every day, um, just hustling. That's why the book is called The Anti-Hustle. Hustling, okay, which I don't need you guys doing. You need to think about how you can automate the sales process. One great way is to set up sales funnels. So... I have a sales funnel guy and I have an operations manager. And one thing that we did yesterday, every Tuesday, I have a meeting with them to go over our funnels, to go over our numbers. So I explicitly only market my funnels on YouTube. I don't do it on Facebook. I don't do it on Instagram because I'm actually locked out of my Facebook account. I know. 
it's a nightmare. I'm, I might actually be getting in soon, but that's neither here nor there. I like YouTube better, way better for a number of reasons. I don't need Instagram blocking me, so I'm not going to talk about that. Maybe one day we'll talk about the pros and cons of YouTube, why I'm such a YouTube fan. But um, I have my funnels, right? So there's an ad that goes out and it's about a three minute ad. It welcomes them to, it gives them the opportunity to join a free class. The class is about 30 minutes. And at the end of the class, I upsell them or attempt to upsell them to a two hour class. At the end of that two hour class, then they get pitched to join the Better Than Success Real Estate League. We've been working on this funnel, refining it, refining it, refining it for a long time. And we finally have a funnel that actually works. So dang, I wish I can check my Stripe account. Um, but we had some sales today. So that's really good. A couple weeks ago, I looked at my funnel with some fresh eyes and I didn't like it. I want to do a new funnel. I think that if I rework the funnel, we can have a better funnel that works better and makes more money. So we're making some tweaks to our existing funnel and um, refining who we're targeting. And so I'm going to let that work for a little while, for a couple weeks. And then I'm going to start shooting new content for a new funnel. So I'm telling you this because there are a number of different things that I'm going to change and I'm improving on to grow my business from 30 to 100 grand per month. And that is one of them, these funnels. I am not the type of person to put all my eggs in one basket. I need to have multiple ways in which I make money and the cash register continues to ring. So there are other things that I'm working on, but right now I just wanted to talk to you about funnels. Hey, real quick. If you love this episode, make sure you pick up a copy of my Christian-based business book, also called The Anti-Hustle, Unlocking the Secrets to Limitless Success Through Faith. Originally published in 2017, this is the revised edition with the exact spiritual principles and scriptures from the Bible I used to thrive as an entrepreneur back in 2017. And then after that, I used the same principles to grow a multi-million dollar real estate portfolio from zero dollars and build a $50,000 per month business to now on my way to $100,000 per month. Pick up your copy of The Anti-Hustle at theantihustlebook.com. d -Hud, what kind of business do you have? You need to have funnels. You need to have, you, there may be, it may be called something else. You need to have some sort of mechanism, whether it's a digital funnel or something in person where you have, you bring people along a journey that leads them to purchasing your product. And that funnel could be digital or it could be a funnel that is in person. I don't know, but you need to have some sort of system to get people to opt in to buy your product or your service. So Diha, what type of uh, business are you? Wholesaling. That is awesome. How do you get your properties under contract? Because you you have a funnel. You just don't know that you do. You don't realize that it's a funnel. But when you start thinking about it in a way that it is a funnel, then that will help you a lot more. It'll help you to be able to get more properties under contract. So how are you getting your properties under contract and how are you getting your buyers? You have two jobs as a wholesaler, properties under contract and buyers. You have two customers for real, for real. So you have to have two funnels for your business. So how are you getting them? And then we can talk about, we can talk about that. The other things that I'm working on is I have a team of affiliates to sell memberships to my real estate club. There are 11 affiliates. So today I said, Wednesdays are my meeting days. Today I one of the meetings is meetings that I have with the executives. And usually in those meetings, we cover sales tactics. And I teach them how to improve their brand, their influencer brand online. And we go over different topics. So today we talked about um, 
schedule scheduling and time management for creating content. Okay. So I did a whole session with our executives. There's 11 of them teaching them how to schedule and create content so that they can be more efficient with creating content and scheduling. And then after that, I had a meeting with two of the execs because they wanted to run an idea, uh, like a private meeting with them. They wanted to run an idea by me around some content that they wanted to create. They're going to make some amazing content. I can't wait. Um, And then actually I left out the fact that I have my operations meeting before that. So I told y'all Wednesdays are stressful. I was on here earlier today and I had to jump because I had to jump right into another meeting. It was just so many meetings. So the meeting that I had to jump into was my operations meeting. So I have a marketing slash operations meeting with my email copywriter, my assistant, and my operations person. And um, so we had that meeting. Some ideas were tossed around and I'm just not ready to talk about that yet. Oh, I also had a meeting with my accountant today. This is, you see how many meetings I had? It was too much. That was, I don't like having all the meetings. Now my energy level is so low. That's why I tried to get on with y'all before my meetings while my energy level was so high. I knew I was going to be drained right now. Um, so for the rest of the day, I am going to um, actually, one of the things that I've been inspired to do is, so let me back up before I tell y'all this, this new, this other project that I have going on. One of my gifts that I have is I have the gift of fostering community and I have the gift of bringing people together to have fun. When before COVID, I used to do this. This was how I made a living. I would bring people together at my office and this is how I made a living. Then COVID happened and I moved and I've been really, really secluded. And I didn't want to go back to doing events. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I love the fact that everyone's doing these conferences, but I have no desire. I used to do conferences all the time. I have no desire to do them. Um, You know why? Because my goal is to help inspire people to make a change. And I don't see these conferences changing people. (laughs) And I just want to really connect people on a deeper level. And I want to affect people more efficiently. So what I'm going to start doing out here in LA is having invite only private dinners. So I already sent out, I already put the unofficial invitations out for this first dinner. If you are in LA and you didn't get your invitation, I sorry. <laughs> I sorry. We're going to get you on the next go round. But we're having invite only private dinners. The first one is going to be in March sometime. So I got to make a follow up call to the um, organizers. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. So for those of you who have businesses and you want to grow your business, right? Like I talked a little bit about yesterday. I'm going to give you the principles behind why I'm doing this. I talked a little bit about the spiritual spiritual implications of money, like how money is spiritual. Most people don't believe that money is spiritual. They don't even know that money is spiritual. They just think it's the object to chase after. But money is God's reward to you for helping his other children. Okay, so the more value you bring, the more you help other people, the more God rewards you with money. Sometimes. Now, I would love to tell you like, oh, it's a direct correlation. God be working on you in all different types of ways. Right. He you may be bringing value. He may be saying, you know, what, I'm going to hold on to this money because you got some more lessons to learn. So it's not a direct correlation, but overall. Your, it is your reward for helping other people, right? One area that I know that I always help people like through my real estate club, which we have hundreds of members and we've serviced thousands of people, thousands of people over the last couple of years. One thing that I always notice is as extroverted as I am, I attract a lot of introverts. They are drawn to me. <laughs> Like a moth in flames, moth to the flames. Introverts are are drawn to me. And I think it's because I let I help them to ease their inhibitions about connecting with other people. Because that's what we're we're here to do is connect with other people. 
And so because this is my gift and I don't necessarily want to do these live events regularly, I'm going to start, I'm going to continue to put my gift to use and start hosting these private dinners to allow people to connect. Okay. Some of the people that's on the list, they are extroverts. So it's going to be a good time. But I know for a fact that they don't know how to connect with people the way that I do. Like it's some it's some heavy hitters that's in, on this list for this first dinner. And I'm really, 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 truly excited about that. So this is why I'm doing a dinner and I got to like finish finalizing it. Um, and it's super private. Like, honestly, you guys on here are like, I haven't, I haven't talked about it publicly. This is not, I'm not trying to sell anything, nothing. So I challenge you for those of you who are extroverts, start fostering community. Like the people who foster community are the people who are like, you get special favor. I don't know how to describe it. God wants us to be together. He wants us to have togetherness. And so this is a cheat. This is a spiritual hack to success. When you create togetherness, God makes crazy provision for you. Crazy provision. This is what I, actually what I did my TED Talk on when I did my TED Talk. He makes crazy provision for you. So I'm not saying you have to create some expensive dinner, right? Like this dinner is not going to be cheap for the inv- for the attendees. But what I am saying is that Organize, organize that house party, organize that little small mastermind, organize the big mastermind, go ahead and organize it because people who foster community, God gives you provision and provision. I mean, like he, oh, you know, you couldn't achieve that goal. Let me, let me slide you a couple of surprise extra dollars. Oh, you couldn't do this. You don't got enough to do that. Let me slide you this. I'm telling you, it's the ultimate cheat. I am telling you. Create community, you guys. Create community. Let me know in the chat. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, D-Hud. I see y'all hanging in here with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, let me get get on to my next thing that I wanted to share with you all. Let me know in the chat how y'all feel about all of this. And the next thing I know I keep telling you, my top priority for this week is I have to, I'm rewriting, well, I'm not rewriting. I am writing an epilogue because I'm doing a second edition. I'm releasing the second edition of the Anti-Hustle book. We're doing a new cover, everything. So I'm going to write an epilogue. Soon I'm going to have, we're going to do the second edition. I'm making some tweaks in here and I'm going to write the epilogue and we're going to, I'll pre, uh, you'll be able to pre-order it. And I'll sign it. You'll get all sorts of goodies. All sorts of goodies. Tara said the book is a game changer. Thank you, guys. What's up, Cultivator? I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you'll be hopping on to my... Um... Thank you. I hope you'll be hopping on to the, the, the news briefing on YouTube live. Because I don't go live on here. The reason I don't go live on here anymore is because it messes up the Wi-Fi. And that's why the quality was so bad. As soon as I stopped going live on Instagram and just doing it on YouTube, it was way better. I'd be on YouTube. Thank you very much. Will BTS ever network with people who move commercial? Heck yeah. We got a lot of commercial real estate people in our in our group. Heck yeah, future phenom con- collection. Let's talk about our good deed for the day. So on this show, every day, we're going to challenge ourselves to do a good deed, a small good deed. So anyone who's here and listens to this, you are challenged. You have to do this small good deed. Okay. Guess what happened to me, y'all? So yesterday, our challenge was to text someone that we didn't know, we that we didn't talk to for a while, right? And let them know we're thinking about them. Do you know I text someone and then later someone else that had nothing to do with none of this that I haven't talked to a while, text me and said, hey, I'm just thinking about you. I miss you. I love you. Okay. (laughs) Can you believe that? That's crazy. On top of the fact, the day that now I'm thinking about this, the day that we did the $7 donation, this is why I'm telling you these are spiritual hacks. The day that we did this, the not $7, I just did $7. But the day that we did the donations to sitesavers.com, I made a lot of money that day. (laughs) I made a lot of money that day. Okay. 
I normally make, like, I'm going to be really honest with y'all. I normally make around a thousand to $1,500 a day through the one business. So we were only talking about the one business. I'm not talking about my real estate business. That day I ended up making like $2,500 that day. And I don't want to say a lot, but it was like on a day-to-day basis, I normally make, that was like almost double. <laughs> it was just out of nowhere. Just had some extra sales. So yeah, on top of the fact that I miraculously got a new tenant that wanted to move in day of, <laughs> that they that money got deposited. Well, the my my property manager collected the money yesterday, so it got deposited today. So maybe that was from the seven dollars. I don't know, but I, this is why I'm doing this show because I'm trying to show y'all spiritual hacks for success. Do you hear? Do you see this cultivator? Cultivator is my whole thing. In my in my in my head, cultivating my best friend in my head. <laughs> you my cheerleader. I, don't, I have no idea what you look like. Your page is private, and you got a picture of your car or this this little teeny smile in your in your in your thing. So I don't know what you look like. I don't know who you are. You could be a clown riding on a on a on a unicycle for all I know. I have no idea, but you my homie in my head. Okay, Terry, your ladder will be greater. A I told y'all the spiritual hacks for success. So today, let me tell y'all what our good deed for today is. You're going to tell a teenager, you're going to text a teenager that's not your child, a teenager in your family, one of your friends, teenagers, that you love them. That's it. That's it. Just text the teenager that you love them. My little cousin just turned 13. I'm going to text them and say, I love you. That's all. That's all you got to do. How many of you guys are going to do the challenge today? That's just this small good deed. Just randomly. Don't add, don't, don't ask them, do they need anything? Don't ask them, what's up? Nothing. All you want to say is, I just want you to know that I love you so much. And I think you're awesome. You're an awesome human being, a teenager. How many people is going to do that? Don't you know teenagers out here in Philly is crazy now? I know that's why that's why I'm telling you to do it. They are crazy. They need love. That's what that's why they're crazy. Because they don't think anyone loves them. That's why they're crazy. This is the scripture I want to show y'all. This is our scripture today. I, I mentioned it already, but I feel like I did, this needs to be the scripture. And God and God blessed them saying, "Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let fowl multiply on the earth." And so this scripture is about automation. I want you to keep, if you ever need the best business plan, the best business plan, you trying to figure out how to run your business is Genesis one, the whole entire Genesis one. It tells God, it shows how God set up something and set up systems for it and how it can run. Okay. Do you know what I did? Right. So I decided I wanted to start this show and I was, and I'm going to make some changes and I'm like, put my foot down. Like, okay, I'm really going to go be really, really serious about bringing, get my business from 40 grand, 30, 30 to 50 grand. So we'll average it out on a bad month is 30. A good month is 50. So we're average out at 40 grand. Okay. So from 40 grand a month to hundred grand a month, I'm like, I'm serious. I'm putting my foot down. I'm doing this. Right. So I decided to do this show. Do you know what I did all weekend? Last weekend, don't know what I did? I decorated my office. You know why I decorated my office? Because the first thing that God did was he created light. He needed a space to work. He needed a space where he could see and think clearly. So some of you, the reason that you're not taking your business to the next level, the reason that you're not seeing the results that you should is because your physical space is cluttered. Your physical space is not organized. Your physical space is not clean. Before God did anything, he created light. Now, I could have a whole conversation about light and what it is. But the first day, the first thing he created was light. I need a space. I need a space to work. I need to be able to see. You can't see your way out of your situation to the next situation. If your space is cluttered, if your thoughts are, if your space is organized, that means your thoughts are probably also organized as well, uh, disorganized as well. So 
So before you go and start your next plan, before you go and try to make your next sale, clean out your space, organize your space. This was good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love y'all. Have a great night.